I'm the musk oxen now. So I'm close enough for now. They can see me, that's good. It might have been the cutest thing I could observe this year. If you look out there, it's another sunny morning. <laughs> um, yes, really foggy um, because of the humidity. The air feels kind of cold. The problem is I can't, like I wanted to, look up at the mountain and see the musk oxen if they're still there. Make breakfast now. Pack my backpack and walk in the direction. Well, this morning you could argue that it's a bit wet, especially below the knees. Um, so far, still really bad visibility. So uh, I have second breakfast and then I think about how I continue. It's supposed to clear up at some point, um, which could be really nice conditions to photograph in and to film in, but uh, as you don't want to go too close to musk oxen, it might be a bit difficult to find them in the fog. And then it might be also a bit dangerous. Of course you could scare them and they could attack you. And that's not something you want to risk. Got a bit cold out here while yeah, hiking not too fast because I want to get to a specific spot where I can go up the mountain with the least slope and the best view to see the animals. But until now it still hasn't cleared up and I got kind of cold so I changed to a thicker wool layer underneath. I can already feel that it helps. This boulder here gives me shelter. What I can see now is it seems to clearing up at least a little bit. I get way more visibility into the valley because with a bit more sunshine I would feel just so much better. Uh, having a good mental state while out in these conditions is really important because if you don't keep yourself up you were feeling quite cold and miserable really fast. And I was nearly there, but then I just put all my clothing on, started running, and now, yeah, physical activity solved most problems, so. Still really foggy. Uh, still in the clouds, the sun hasn't really reached here. Uh, and every bigger rock could be a musk oxen, so I'm really moving. Moving slowly because, uh, yeah, don't like it too much how it is right now. It was impossible for me to just climb on further without looking at this scenery. It's just incredible how the mountains, like the foot of the mountains, are coming out of the clouds. How you see all the grinding river, the lakes back there. It's an immense view. Yeah, now this becomes a real adventure, making some food and it's raining a tiny bit, not really bad. 
Uh, it looks like it might be clearing up up here as well. Uh, that would be good for me. That would be really good for me. I found the musk oxen now. I'm staying here in spot. I'm calm. I kind of came over the slope. So I'm close enough for now. Um, they can see me. That's good. Now in fall, it is not only really nice that the colors in the mountains are turning in such a beautiful shape and color, but also that we have the rut of the muskox. So the males are fighting for these harems in late August, and then in September it's mostly yeah, the mating between muskox, like the male, the leading male, and its harem. Good to see that even the bull is laying down now, like turning his back to me and now laying down, really good. Seems like he accepted me here in his presence, around his group. Um, I take that. It's not the best perspective or photos, but it's an experience for itself. Now after I found that group of musk oxen, I found this ledge here on the other side, which is above the valley I walked through yesterday. And it's a really good view and I think I see the other four animals that I was missing in that group and they are down there in the valley. And since the musk oxen that I just looked at are on the east slope, I think I might go down into the valley because on the east slope I don't get evening light of course. And if I want to try this today, then I kind of have to go all in. So I have to go down this, yeah, this mountain. Should be possible, shouldn't be too hard. It's not super steep.
watching this small family munching their way through the vegetation slowly towards me was all I could have hoped for. And I was truly thrilled. But this day had just a tiny extra in store for me. While one of the calves was feeding close to me, I became witness to something quite special. One of the muskox females showed the other calf how you scratch your thick, itchy muskox fur. Every rock that's reachable is just the right tool. It might have been the cutest thing I could observe this year. An intimate moment between mother and calf. How knowledge and tricks are passed on from one to the next generation. Shake it little one. The world is just ahead of you. Sometimes there's just too much happening so that it's too hard to vlog. Like it was super steep, I was close to the muskox and I didn't want to spend my time on vlogging. I wanted to spend my time on getting footage because... Yeah, well, first of all I wanted to survive and on the other hand YouTube is not paying me enough for that. So I, I prioritize uh, taking up muskox footage that I can eventually sell afterwards than doing YouTube, right? <laughs> But yeah, it was amazing light until these big clouds came in. And now I think uh, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And there will be more Dovrefjell episodes soon to come. Um, see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. It was great fun. Beautiful, but really cold morning, cold night. Now I'm here with one group of, I think like eight animals maybe. 